We are here today for the fourth annual Dan's Taste of Summer. It encompasses two amazing foodie events, the foodie events of the Hamptons. So I'm here today with one of our judges for tonight's Grill Hampton cook-off, Bruce Bronster. Hi, Bruce. How are you? How are you doing? Great to be here. I'm doing wonderfully. You are? I know that you were a judge last year. What are you looking forward to this year at the Grill Hampton? Well, uh, the flavors were amazing, and each chef, I think, brings their A-game. So, like, I'm looking for a lot of pop in the flavor, a lot of salt, a lot of acid, a lot of flavor, great meat, of course, from La Frida. Doesn't mm -hmm. get better. So. Doesn't get better than that. Who does the grilling at home, Bruce? Uh, actually, I do. And what do you love to grill more than anything? Well, no, What's your go-to protein, if I might say it? Uh, my favorite is absolutely the La Frida strip. That's what I like to cook. Um, and second would be a ribeye, but I, I'm definitely a fan of the traditional strip. Okay, do you like to grill other things than proteins? What are oh, your favorite absolutely. vegetables or fruits? Uh, I have three vegetarians in my household, so... Uh, we do a whole panoply of vegetables. Vegetables, we do, uh, of course, uh, fish, chicken. Uh, we have a plan to do a rotisserie duck next week. That's on the agenda. Well, that sounds great, but if they're all vegetarians, are you the only one eating the duck? Well, we have uh, all of our friends come by. It's usually uh, cooking for about 10 or 12. What marinade or dry marinade? Um, if I'm going to use marinade, I use dry. Uh, I don't like what the acids do to the meat. If I'm doing something like a hanger steak or a cirque steak, maybe I would use a, a marinade. But I, like the strip is so good, especially the aged premium. Uh, it really doesn't need much more than salt and pepper. If you could pick anyone to grill your food for you, who would it be? Ooh, I think I would pick uh, Pat Lafrida, actually, because he knows the meat from you know uh, the butchering to uh, to the plate. I, I, that's who I would pick. Who's gonna win today? Hamptons or NYC? Uh, the people eating the food are going to win. That's <laughs> Good gonna answer. Win. Um, and what is the best food to actually eat off a grill? That's a tough one. I mean, you know, I think that um, what grilling does is it brings intense flavors. And I, what immediately comes to mind is certain vegetables and fruit. I love when you do things with fruit on the grill, like a pineapple, and it brings that sugar, it caramelizes it. Some vegetables, you know, like the golden zucchini, um, you know, eggplant. Those are things that I really like on a grill. And of course, you know, all of the meats. Fabulous. Well, you've got 16 dishes to try because today we've got eight New York City chefs versus eight Hampton chefs. And I hope you're hungry. I certainly am. I'll be talking to you later, Bruce. Thank you. Bye-bye.